the real title of this video. Help! My funnel is not working. I have put a lot of work into it and I'm funneling all these people through and it seems like there's holes on the side and they're all just funneling right back out as fast as I'm putting them in. What am I doing wrong? So we're going to go over that today. We're going to look at some different areas that you can look at in your funnel and tweak those areas, if that makes sense. Um, one of the pieces of advice I want to give you is when you build a funnel, just focus on building it and then getting it out there. Don't try to fix potential problems while you're building because sometimes you will spend so much time trying to build a perfect funnel or sales funnel that you waste a lot of time when it could be out there working for you and then you can see hmm, what's working what's not working what can i tweak what can i change then you might want to take some days and say you know what today i'm going into analytical mode or fixing mode i'm going to analyze some of the stuff that i've got my systems I'm going to go look at them and see what i need to fix and then spend some time tweaking and fixing so it's kind of like a process um don't try to do it all at once because sometimes you'll feel like you're just jumping all over the place so let's look at what a funnel is in the sales marketing industry Basically, a funnel is a journey that you take people through. There's awareness, leads, prospects, and then sales. And notice you have more people coming in at the top and then it funnels smaller. And it's done that way for a, a reason. A smaller percent of people are going to buy, larger percent are become aware. So it, that just, it, it just works across the board. Awareness is when you... Um, you're out there, you're delivering content um, on your different platforms or your one platform, and you're getting people to be aware of who you are. And many people that enter this industry get really discouraged because they think they're going to build this platform, put out some content, get these systems in place, and all within three months start making lots of money. When you hear people say that, they're typically people that have been out there for a long time trying different strategies, and then they finally found something that works. But in general, if you're brand new, you've never done this before, it may take a year or even two years before people are really aware of you until you've made a presence of yourself out there. Um, you have to build a lot of content to do that. I'm just giving you some numbers. I mean, everybody's different, but that's what awareness is. It's you posting on Facebook, creating a Facebook group, you know, creating content. Maybe you have a YouTube channel and you're creating content there. So think about that as your awareness, the content that I am delivering for free. Well, then you get leads. So you create a free thing and you offer it to people and you're trying to get them to come into your opt-in page. I'm gonna show you a picture of that in just a moment, but this is where you get your leads. People give you their email address in exchange for that free thing that you have. And that's called a landing page or an opt-in page or squeeze page. Those are all interchangeable terms. Once you have them on your email list, especially if they open your emails as you send them, those are your prospects. These are people that are really interested in what you're offering. You're giving more content in those emails. And you are I always call it email training. You just keep giving them more and more and more and they want to stay and they want to keep watching and they can't wait. I honestly have two people that I'm on their email list and I can't wait to get their email. I actually look forward to it. Then I have several I just keep de deleting because I haven't had time to unsubscribe. But the point is that they're giving such good content that I'm actually using. I can't wait to see it. And then you have that small percent that they will buy a membership or maybe a product that you're selling and that those will become your sales. And typically people that buy from you will typically buy from you again. They become your loyal customer. So that's what a funnel is. So why is my funnel not working, right? All right, let's look at one possible reason. One possible reason is you don't have enough traffic. You may have a wonderful product that you're offering. You may have wonderful content that you're delivering. And a lot of people are telling you that, but you're not getting people to click in. And it just might, as you saw, it's a numbers game, right? So if you only have 100 people that are aware of you or that have, have opted in, and it, it, it funnels down and that percent is small, well, 1% 1 of 100 is one person. For, so as you can see, you're not gonna make a lot of sales if you don't have enough traffic coming in. So you have to think of it as numbers. Greater numbers coming in at the top is gonna to make greater numbers at the bottom. And this is just a little chart that I made of how that works. Um, I've talked about landing pages before. I'll actually put a video at the end if you're not sure what I'm talking about. But you're driving traffic to this item that you've made on your landing page, a free thing. Maybe you're giving a free course or a free checklist or a free guide, free ebook. And this is what's driving people 
to click. And, and again, if you don't have a lot of people that you're exposing this free thing to, then your numbers are not going to naturally be that high. So think if that's where you feel like you don't have a lot um, of traffic being driven to your funnel, then maybe that's where you should start and tweak that and get yourself out there and maybe put yourself on some kind of a, a more intense schedule to start posting and putting yourself out there and your free thing. Um, that would be my advice. All right, let's look at number two. Now, real quick, before we look at number two with traffic, I did want to offer, there is a training, a course by Rachel S. Lee. And Rachel is um, really has been very successful with affiliate marketing and passive income. And she just developed a new traffic ecosystem that she is selling. And I wanted to go ahead and put a plug in for her down below because she is really starting to focus on traffic because that's an area that a lot of people are saying that they're struggling with. So check it out. Um, she has a webinar below and you can see if that's something that would be for you. Now, the second thing you want to look for, maybe you're directing people to your free thing and they're opting in and they're accepting it. You're getting their email, but you neglected to make an email sequence. So you're not following up. If you're not following up, um, you've just got people sitting there waiting for more from you. And I, I have been in training sessions or Facebook groups where people share, and I've had people say, yeah, I have 6,000 emails and I've never made an email sequence. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You know, people are die for that. Um, so <laughs> it's the, what you want to do is have a sequence started, um, so that you have some follow-up right away and you might say yeah but that's going to take a lot of time to get three months worth of emails set up so that it's all automated just set it up for maybe 30 days i don't send an email every single day to me that's very annoying i typically send emails three times a week and i send them in the middle of the week so they have a big gap you know over the weekend and then i send three and i don't always try to sell something i just basically will send you know motivational things encouraging things informational and then sometimes I will share some software that I've used and offer them the link. But I try to keep it educational and informative so people will want to stay on the list. But if you have people clicking in, you have their emails and you're not sending any follow-up, well, obviously there's another leak in your funnel. So take the time to get that set up. And again, just put everything else aside and focus on that until it gets at least a 30 days worth. So they're four weeks ahead of you. And then each week make a little note. Okay, I'm going to do a week's worth or two weeks worth. Two weeks worth is like six emails. And I have mine on a list like that. I'm trying to get to six months. I think I'm at four right now. But what I'll do is do like two weeks at a time. I stay ahead of my group and and I make my emails and, and just kind of make sure I stay ahead. And then once it stops there, it's, it's going to stop and then I'll, I'll work on some other things. But the point is, you've got to follow up. They've got to see you in front of them consistently. And, and here's where the follow up occurs on that list. This is where you give the free thing. And here you're, you've got their name on an email list. They've given you their name their email, they're on the list. And now over here is where you're going to send the follow up, the sequence. Even here's another area. Maybe you do have sequence emails, but did you send a follow up? Thank you. Did you, after you sent the free thing, did you say, thank you? I'm excited to um, get to know you. Um, here's my email list or my newsletter, whatever you want to call it. Um, sometimes if that introduction or that thank you is not there, they might start getting emails from you and then not connect. Like, well, who is this coming from? So possibly that might be your problem too, is that you didn't have that thank you in there to kind of make that transition for people. When you have people go through your email list, let's assume you have that right, do you have emails that have a call to action? Many times people will um, have people come to their uh, YouTube videos or they send emails and they don't ask anybody to do anything. Like right now, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. The link is below and I would absolutely love for you to subscribe to my channel so that I can continue to provide you with great content to help you with your business. I'm also going to um, ask you to click the link for Rachel and see if you're interested in that to have traffic driven to you. I've got another link down there if you would like to do a 30-day training on how to build a funnel. Many people don't even know what I'm talking about and there's the best training in the world below. So click that, check them out, see if that'll work for you. 
that's a call to action. I'm asking you to do something. And a lot of times, especially when I'm on YouTube, sometimes I feel like, well, everybody keeps saying that. Hit the like button, make a comment, subscribe. And it's almost like a given. We all know that that person wants us to do it. But I know sometimes if I'm watching a video and they say it, I'm like, oh, okay, I'll hit the subscribe. I like this. Um, sometimes I don't think about it unless they yell at me and tell me to do it. So hopefully that's you too. I'm yelling at you, hit the subscribe button. But even in your email sequence, are you asking? people to do something or are you just giving them the content Now you might say well you just said you give encouraging emails or informative but even in those I might ask them to join my Facebook group or I might ask them to watch a video but I always ask them to do something so if I'm only giving information I might just put a link to a video or sometimes I've even put a link to another article and said hey I found this article about such and such I know we've been talking about it this article says it better hit this link so I'm still getting them to click it doesn't have to be something that I'm selling okay so call to action make sure every time you put anything out there have a call to action that might be where your funnel has a leak last but not least are you offering a product let's say that you've got people to come in your funnel they're in your sequence but then you just start only offering free content. Sometimes we get so caught up in that that we forget that we're selling things. And if you don't have your own product to sell, which most people don't in the beginning, they're like, I have no idea what I want to sell, especially if they're um, wanting to do a course or something and they're building it and it takes time. So what you can do is become an affiliate marketer. Just go to Amazon Associates or um the, gosh, there's so many different places out there that you can go out and become an affiliate marketer and sell other people's products. And I've got videos on that. I don't want to go in that today, but sometimes people get caught up in that. They want people to like them. Um, I was actually on watching a video one time of a guy that was saying that he goes, I was so worried about people liking me that I kept giving all this free content. And then all of a sudden when I started trying to sell something, people were kind of like offended because I hadn't done that. And we're talking like in months of... <laughs> probably six months worth of emails before this person tried to sell something. So be very careful. You don't want to oversell and push people away, but you don't want to undersell yourself either. You're in business and your time is valuable. And this is actually how you're being paid for all that free stuff that you're giving away is when they click a link and they join a membership or buy a product that you're referring to them. And again, make sure you're offering products. And I like to go with the 80, 20 rule, 80 time, 80% 80 of the time you want to be building that relationship. 20% of the time you're sending out those referrals for different products and different memberships. And again, I don't absolutely go eight and two, but I try to watch, I keep a list of the types of emails that I'm sending and I just kind of watch my pattern to make sure that I'm not overkilling with products. All right, that's all I have for today. Um, hopefully that helped you. Go back, look at your funnel, uh, see where you might need some tweaks. Make sure you click those links below that I talked about. Subscribe to my channel. There's a thumbs up for you for watching it this far and I appreciate it. All right, see you on the next video.